So similarly, after an intense workout, your body loses water. When you take in a lot of water during this time, water molecules will enter the cells. The excess amount of water entering the cells will then cause the cells to burst. This is known as cytolysis. Mm, okay, I kind of understand, but I'm not so sure if I got it right. Explain your thoughts to me. Okay, so after exercise, our body loses a lot of water. That's right. When we drink a lot of water during this time, the water potential outside the cells become higher. Uh huh. Therefore, water diffuses into the cell and the cell may burst, right? The process you have just described is correct. But to be precise, we call the process of water moving in and out of the cell as osmosis. Osmosis? Yes, osmosis. Osmosis is defined as the net movement of water molecules from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential through a partially permeable membrane. What is this water potential? Ah, look at this. Water potential is basically the concentration of water or H2O molecules in a solution. Notice that there are more water molecules on the left side than on the right. This means that the left side has a higher water potential. I see now. So when there is a higher water potential outside the cell, the water will enter the cells that has a lower water potential. This causes the cell to swell up and the cell may burst. Yes, and also take note that the partially permeable membrane is one of the conditions for osmosis to happen. I see, now I understand. That's why it is not advisable to drink too much water immediately after exercise. That's right.